Hello, Chris Child. Welcome to Humans of Data Science. Would you please take a minute and introduce yourself? Sure. Aloha, Kate. My name is Lori Stroud. I work for BB&T Bank. I'm a cyber threat hunter. Great. Uh, what, how did you end up doing this, this cyber threat hunting job at BB&T? So this is my first commercial job outside of the Department of Defense or military or intelligence agencies. So I'm um, about six months in and it's a completely different world. Um, so, but data science has really helped me um, automate a lot of my processes and workflows. So I'm finding a good home here outside of the defense sector. Okay, and I see you, you, you've traveled quite a bit, right? I think Abu Dhabi and Hawaii. So talk more about that, that sounds interesting. <laughs> Sure. Um, so I went to school to be a teacher, uh, so, but I never actually have been in the classroom very much. Uh, cyber has always kind of been another interest of mine, a side hustle, and uh, it pays, pays very well. So um, yeah, I just go kind of wherever the mission takes me. Um, so yeah, I've worked at, um, in Maryland at NSA proper and in NSA in Hawaii. And then um, I did more of an intelligence mission over in the Middle East. Mm. to kind of piggybacked on what I was studying. So yeah, it's, it's taken me around the world. Okay, very interesting. So in terms of the tools that you use for data analysis, do you have kind of a go-to tool or software that you prefer? Yeah, it depends. Um, for most work things, uh, relational software, so um, Maltego or Palantir. Yeah, so um, a lot of relational databases. I mean, if we had a shoestring budget, I've been in a situation where I've had to do, you know, PHP, my admin, like MySQL, like any, any kind of data that I can relate. Depends on the budget. So yeah, if I've got clients or customers that are willing to buy the licenses, I would definitely go um, go that route. But yeah, we've just worked with raw databases before and formatted them and post-processed them and made use of it. Okay, cool. So I noticed, um, I think recently you were an information security panelist at Meredith College. Can you yeah. talk more about this experience? So this is happening on Wednesday. So we had our um, kind of pre-panel discussion late last week. And okay. basically, it's they invited um, all majors to participate in this panel. Uh, it's a women's college. Um, and I'm glad they uh, invited all majors outside of computer science because I'm not a computer science major. I was an English lit major. Okay. Um, so really, um, cybersecurity and information security can really um, be appealing to people outside of computer science. And I think people outside of computer science can be really good analysts, mm -hmm. really good critical thinkers, problem solvers, and security, information security is all about that. So it's not about necessarily knowing the bits and bytes, but really kind of that critical thinking and having an inquisitive mind about it. Okay, very interesting. So being a women's college, I think, I mean, this is a great initiative because I think there, we don't have enough women in, in kind of the STEM field. So that's- They didn't have enough women to fill the panel, sadly. <laughs> Uh, they actually had to put a guy on the panel, which is fine, you know, whatever. But he's, you know, he taught at Duke or presented at Duke, so he's credible. But it's like, yeah, they didn't even have enough local women that volunteered for the panel. So oh, that's sad. We're getting <clears throat> I did have a similar experience once. I attended an event in New York. It was Women in Data something. I forget what it was a few years back. And a bunch of females in the audience. And then the first thing that happens is a man gets up and kicks off the whole session. I'm like, really? We couldn't get a woman to do that part. It's, it ruined the whole picture. You the know? vibe, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Having a guy in the panel, I think, is great because it shows, you know, diversity in it. That's good. Yeah, and support. And yeah. <laughs> we'll get <there. laughs> All right, well, the, the last question I really want to ask is, what do you like to do in your spare time, kind of outside of data, outside of security, outside of work? So we have three children, um, ages five, seven, and 12. So yeah, so we're either, you know, skateboarding, scootering, playing with our puppy, uh, reading. Minecraft is, is really big in my house right now, which is great for coding. I'm kind of pushed that a little bit. Um, but yes, and I'm also um, in a PhD program myself, so that takes up a lot of my time. And I'm in a master's program for data science, so that takes up my other Saturday. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, so kids, uh, kids, fiance, puppy, school. Yeah. So, so Lori, thank you so much for being a part of Humans of Data Science. It was amazing talking to you and getting to know you. All right. Thank you, Kate. Have a great day.